what we're doing and then I'll come and talk to you. Okay. Hi, Beck Mac here for Pops Art and AU Review and I'm at the Trace launch down here and the beautiful Avid Reader for in West End for 101. And Trace is an exhibition and art auction putting contemporary art in these really amazing public spaces within the community and all the all the money made goes to community plus and community plus puts so much back into the community and the first painting hung is this unbelievable stunning work by Gordon Bennett one of our most incredible contemporary artists and this is his beautiful wife uh, Leanne Ber uh, Bennett thank you for coming down pleasure now what a generous gift thank you so much first for you know, donating this piece of work. What, what um, inspired you to do that? Um, inspiration. The striped paintings were a part of Gordon's um, career, I guess, where he took a lot of risks. He was in a, a very good position, I guess, in the art world, financially and as far as being, um, you know, accepted as, as an established artist. And he just decided to sort of throw away all of those um, ideas about narrative works and political works. And he just wanted to paint stripes. And this was one of the first of that group of paintings. So they got really into the swing in 2003. But 2001 was like the beginning of just playing with paint more than anything. Um, I went to art college with Gordon, which is, and I remember like his work was um, immediately used as an example of this new incredible way that we could make art in Australia. So um, this is a big shift from that. I was just talking to Ian earlier, and he sort of said because he really struggled with just, and he didn't want to be just seen as an Aboriginal art, art artist. Was that one of the things that brought him to this? A little bit. The other, the other idea too was that our daughter was starting high school. Yeah. And he didn't want the attention to be on her because of him. Caitlin went to Girls Grammar. And so Girls Grammar are very big in, in arts, supporting art. And he just wanted to go quiet on the issues also to protect her. So that, you know, she wouldn't sort of go through the sorts of stuff that he went through when he was growing up. Yeah, so, and that, that was part of it. But he was just tired, just kind of just wanted to go in a different direction. And paint. Paint and, and play with paint, particularly with the Stripes series. He liked the idea of, um, sorry, he liked the idea of, of, of loading the paintbrush and then pulling it through the paper until it ran out and then going back the other way. So just that whole process of painting, whereas the way he was painting was done very differently. He was designing on a computer and then projecting works onto a canvas so the creative part was on the computer and the laborious part was painting them whereas this it was just freestyle and and he quite enjoyed it but and and as they're going back to that question about um being classified um he was still classified <clears throat> even with the stripe paintings so if people have got an idea in their head about an artist <clears throat> they won't shift from that so he spent a lot of his time trying to change people's perceptions of art and himself, I yes. guess. And culture and race, the whole lot. I mean, that's a lot to do, God. Now, you were married at an early age, is that right, to Gordon? Maybe 19 or 20. <laughs> do you remember where you met him? He was a friend of my brother's. Okay. Yeah, and then back in those days, he used to ride a motorbike. And he, Hot. And he used to surf. Yeah. <laughs> he was very and, tall. And, and handsome. Yes. <laughs> so that's when I met him. But we were together for 40 years. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Congratulations. I mean, it's, it's hard. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm so sorry to hear that he's passed. Yeah. No, yeah. It's three years almost in a couple of weeks. So were you like the woman behind the man? Did you have any influence or role in his... Uh... <laughs> Now's your turn to shine, babes. <laughs> in, in his work? I like to think, up until, up until 1991, yeah. when he won the Mowat Prize, we both went over to France, yes. and it was almost like we were attached at the hips, because we were both in a foreign country, it was all very new, and so I think he became more dependent on me, and because I had, I'd taken a, a break from teaching, 
Um, I got the job of looking after the accounts and the phone calls and the faxes. And the admin. The ad, I'm the admin, the personal assistant admin, yeah. wife, you know. So, but I love it. I love that sort of thing. And, and I guess that's what's made it a lot easier for this transition now is that I was already doing. Yes. And so I've just continued with that. And, you know, and he's my, you know, I'm his, I'm his biggest fan and I'll just continue to promote him and as hard and fast as I can. Yeah. And I guess putting work in a place like this is part of that. Well, thank you so much. Um, so generous and it's incredible and you're amazing. Thank you. Trace, come along.